What's up, YouTube? This is Galacticod, and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Chat. Now, lately I've been getting a lot of questions in my comments, and my messages, asking me how is it that we make the dual videos? How do we get those sound effects? How do we get those video effects, background music? What programs do we use to put all this together? So, what I'd like to do in this episode is kind of give you a quick run through the process in which it is that we make the dual videos. So it's kind of long and tedious, as some of you may suspect. Basically, I'd say anywhere from four to eight hours per round is the amount of time that we actually spend putting each video together. So it is kind of long. So, from start to finish, I'm going to give you a quick run through of what it is like to actually put it together. So first off, what we do, of course, is film the actual duel. This is probably the most enjoyable part about the whole process because we actually get to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And that takes anywhere from about, I'd say, 30 to maybe an hour and a half. 30 minutes to about an hour and a half to get that whole thing filmed, depending on how many rounds it is and how long we're sitting there thinking, like, hmm, what move do we want to make next? Now from there, what we do is we put it, of course, on the computer. And what I like to do first is run it through Windows Movie Maker. It's a very simple program, very easy to edit with. And I like this because it makes the process very fast. And when you're dealing with such a, you know, a long process, anytime I can you know, trim that up, I like to do. Now what I do first in Windows Movie Maker is I trim the fat of the video. I edit out all the dead space as it is. Now when you're playing an actual duel, there's a lot of you know, pausing, you know, trying to figure out what you're going to do next, you know, trying to, you know, what does my opponent have? Here's the cards in my hand. Let me think about this. How do I want to play that? You know, this I should go here. What does he possibly have? You know, trying to read them and all that kind of stuff that goes on as part of a regular duel. Now, when it translates over into video, that can be kind of, I don't know, boring, I guess. When you're sitting there, you know, watching someone think about what they're going to do next, it's not the most exciting thing to do. So what I like to do is kind of trim all that out. Maybe 20 seconds here where you pause, maybe 10 seconds, maybe 2 seconds. Just trim, 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 trim. That makes the duel that much more fast and that much more intense to watch. And I think it adds to everyone's enjoyability of the whole, you know, video. Because that way you're not sitting there with, you know, too long amount of a dead space. You know, when you go to search through your deck, you know, that takes, you know, a couple seconds. And it's another couple seconds of someone shuffling their deck. I try and trim a lot of that out. You now I'll leave, you know, a couple seconds sometimes of someone just shuffling just so that you know that we actually shuffle the deck. But, you know, sometimes some people shuffle, 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 shuffle. And it just takes forever. And so I like to get all that out of there. So let's say, I remember in the most recent uh, dual videos that we did, the, the Gishki versus Battery Man, I know the first round was like 20-something minutes long that we recorded. But when I edited it all down, trimmed off all the fat, you're looking at about maybe around eight minutes or so worth of time. So I cut about, I don't know, 14, 15 minutes out of there. Um, so that's, you know, a really good chunk of, you know, uh, dead space that you guys don't have to watch. Now, since the first round was, of course, 25 minutes long, originally, you're looking at cutting it up, probably, you know, at least double that amount of time. So the first process is kind of long. If it's got about a 20-minute round, you're probably looking at 40 to 60 minutes to trim it all down because you have to watch the entire thing and keep pausing and cutting and just going back and forth. It's very long. Now, the next thing I like to do after I get that all rendered down to my good eight minute kind of stress or whatever, is I like to put it through um, Adobe After Effects. Now, this is where we put in all the actual video effects. Now that we've got our nice trim down round, we can add in you know our names, the deck names, the life points, anything like that, and then we get started on actually adding in an effect. Now since um, you know, we got it all trimmed down to us constantly making plays, constantly doing action, there's usually a video effect happening in almost every frame. Now what uh, After Effects allows you to do is slow the seconds down so one second just doesn't go by in one second. It actually takes more like 5 to 10 seconds for one second to go by in video when you're watching it. Which kind of helps when you're doing the video effects, but it again makes the process really slow. And since I, need an, I usually have a video effect happening in almost every frame, unless we're actually just setting a card, you know, it's kind of long to put in each thing. So I would say typically each minute spent in a duel probably translate anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes worth of, you know, actually adding in effects. So that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how long, you know, putting an actual duel together, you know, adding in all those effects. It gets very time consuming. So if I had an eight minute round like I did recently, I'm looking at probably anywhere from, you know, two to possibly, you know, four, five, six hours worth of time that I spent on it. 
just adding in those effects. From there, what we'd like to do, we render that up and then move the process over to Sony Vegas. Now this is what we use mostly for adding in any kind of audio and anything like that. So we put in the background music, the sound effects, and all that kind of jazz. Now this process is actually pretty fast because by this point, everything, all the hard stuff is done. All we're doing is pausing every time some sort of sound effect needs to occur and then adding in that actual sound effect. I usually have about, I'd say four to five different tracks going in each video. One for the actual, you know, duel itself where we're talking and bantering back and forth to each other. One for the background music and then in different kinds of tracks uh, for the different sound effects, whether it be a monster being destroyed, getting hit directly, um, you know, taking away life points for a card effect like Solemn Warning or something, or the actual ding from the life points going down. Uh, I make different tracks for these because they each have different volume pitches, and then they each have um, sometimes overlap into each other, so you got to have different tracks for each one. But it's not really too hard of a process. You're usually looking about maybe double the amount of time, maybe triple the amount of time of the actual dual video, so it's not too bad. So if I have an 8 minute video, I'm looking at about 16 to about maybe 24 minutes worth of time doing that. That's probably the fastest process to do. And then from there, I upload it to YouTube and I present it to you guys and that's the process in which the dual videos are made. It's kind of long, uh, kind of arduous, but in the end I like the finished product. I like the amount of, I guess, production value, if you will, that we put into it. I think, you know, it adds a lot to it, you know, to, to really, you know, pump up the audience, I guess, to add a little more epicness to the duels themselves. And that's, you know, what we do to make the duel videos. Um, so, in the comment section below, let me know what you think of all this. And I guess that's it for this week. This is Galactic God.